Check it out. Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. <laughs> Many of us get to know dinosaurs from a very early age as children, and are often interested in these gigantic, vicious beasts. The T-Rex, Velociraptor, and Spinosaurus are the best known of the list, but there are others that will surprise you for their lethality. Let's have a look at the 10 most dangerous dinosaurs in the world. Number 10. Gigantosaurus First we have the Gigantosaurus, one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs to ever live. It roamed modern-day Argentina during the late Cretaceous period. About 99.6 to 97 million years ago. For a long time, Tyrannosaurus rex, also known as the king of the dinosaurs, was thought to be the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Today, Gigantosaurus is believed to have been slightly larger than T. rex, though even Gigantosaurus ranks behind Spinosaurus in size among the meat-eating dinosaurs. First described in a 1995 study in the journal Nature, Gigantosaurus was at the time thought to be the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Researchers estimated that this specimen analyzed was up to 41 feet long from head to tail and weighed between 6.6 .6 and 8.8 .8 tons. Not only large, but quite fast as well. Models suggest that Gigantosaurus could run up to 31.3 miles per hour, according to a 2001 article in the journal Acta Paleontologica Palencia. Any faster and the animal would lose its stability and fall over, rather like me when I decide to run. Number 9. Titanoceratops. This is another massive dinosaur that existed during the late Cretaceous period and is one of the biggest horned dinosaurs that ever lived. The titanic horn-faced beast weighed approximately 15,000 pounds and measured roughly 22.3 feet from head to tail. There are insinuations that its massive eight-foot head probably makes it the land animal with the longest and most extended skull that ever lived. Titanoceratops lived in the American Southwest about 74 million years ago and were distinguishable by their thin frill, pointed nose, and big horns. Despite being non-aggressive or carnivorous creatures, fully developed titanoceratops didn't have to worry so much about the attacks because of their threatening skull size. Large predators from that time preyed on young titanoceratops. Studies have shown that these giant creatures inhabited North American regions and reproduced by laying eggs. It wouldn't be too far-fetched to say that prehistoric homo sapiens would surely have stolen a few of those massive eggs to make omelets. Number 8. The Spinosaurus Up next on this list, we have an extraordinary dinosaur. The Spinosaurus was the biggest of all the carnivorous dinosaurs known to man, larger than the Tyrannosaurus and Gigantosaurus. It lived during part of the Cretaceous period, about 112 million to 97 million years ago. Roaming the swamps of North Africa, Spinosaurus means spined lizard, an appropriate descriptor, as the dinosaur had very long spines growing on its back to form what is referred to as its sail. The distinctive spines, which grew out of the animal's back vertebrae, were up to 2.1 meters long. Spinosaurus already had a very distinctive look, even among dinosaurs, but its most surprising feature was that it was the very first dinosaur that was able to swim and likely spend most of its life in the water. Many scientists believe that snails are relatives of the Spinosaurus. Imagine going from one of the biggest animals to one of the smallest in the world. Such a downfall, right? What do you guys think? Number 7. Trudon. Deadliness doesn't always come down to bulk and bite force. Our next entry in the list was only a mere 1.3 meters or 4.3 feet tall and only weighed 40 kilograms or 88 pounds. And yet, while only being rather small, it made up with what it lacked in brute power with a whole lot of brain. It has the highest brain to body weight ratio of any known dinosaurs, meaning it has the biggest brain of any dinosaur we have discovered. Not only was it very intelligent, but it it also had orb-shaped eyes that gave it superior vision and were able to see in low-light conditions, which made it able to hunt during the night. It used to hunt in packs, and with its rather small stature, it was quite fast. It might not have been as big as some of the beasts on our list, but hunting together with its family, this agile dinosaur could have easily hunted much larger prey and would have been able to triumph even with all the odds stacked against it. Number 6. Majungasaurus Majungasaurus ruled the lands in present-day Madagascar from 70 to 60 million years ago. Here, it reigned terror not just to other animals, but also to its own kind as well. Several fossils of Majungasaurus have been found with 
bites that align with this dinosaur's teeth patterns, which means these beasts occasionally turned on their own kind for food. In conclusion, Majungasaurus is among the few cannibalistic dinosaurs to ever exist, but whether they actively hunted each other isn't yet clear. For all we know, they could have just fed on each other's carcasses. But for regular meals, these dinosaurs fed on sauropods that occupied the same ecological system. Also, the Majungasaurus occupied the top position in the food chain, as it had no predators, although it wasn't among the largest inhabitants of Madagascar during that period. On average, it had a head-to-tail length of between 6 to 7 meters and could weigh as much as a ton. A unique feature among these predators was its stout snout that could have played an important role in their hunting escapades. It enabled them to bite and hold down prey, a tactic similar to today's big cats. Number 5. Velociraptor This is one dinosaur you're definitely familiar with if you've watched Jurassic Park, but unfortunately, some facts about this prehistoric carnivore aren't accurate. For instance, it wasn't as fast as it was portrayed. Yes, their name translates to Swift Caesar, but let's just say they were a bit slower in Mongolia and China, where they lived about 75 to 71 million years ago. It was also much smaller in real life than it was in the movie. On average, a velociraptor weighed a mere 15 kilograms and was about 2 meters long. So, why is it dangerous? For one, it was pretty fast. Not as fast as portrayed in Jurassic Park, but it could still ramp up impressive speeds to catch prey. Also, while it isn't conclusive yet, velociraptors were thought to hunt in pack, which gave them an advantage over the size of prey they could catch, but perhaps the proof of these dinosaurs' ferocity was their signature giant hook-like claw on the hind feet. This was basically their tool of trade when they were out there hunting. They attacked and tightly gripped their prey with the massive talon before devouring it. Number 4. Maposaurus this giant dinosaur wasn't only scary because of its size, it was also a daring hunter that was after some of the equally largest dinosaurs of the time. Like the Argentinosaurus, that averaged lengths of up to 35 meters and could weigh up to a staggering 100 tons, Maposaurus, on its part, had lengths between 10 to 13 meters and an average mass of 3 tons. So, how then did it manage to take large prey several times its size? Fossil remains shed some light on after a close analysis of a heap of bones belonging to these hunters, paleontologists discovered that the bones were of seven different Maposauruses, and that pointed to a possible social existence among these massive carnivorous dinosaurs. So they most probably hunted in packs, and thus were able to go after large and more formidable prey. But that pack certainly wouldn't have done much with the right tools of the trade. Maposaurus had narrow blade-like teeth on this front that could slice through flesh with considerable ease. Number 3. Sauroposeidon Our next contender is the Sauroposeidon, meaning the Lizard of Poseidon, or Earthquake Lizard. Now that's a creepy name. Sauroposeidon is expressed as a supersized dinosaur. It was described from the neck bone fossils discovered in Oklahoma. Sauroposeidon is estimated to be between 20 meters long and weigh up to 60 tons. It lived 125 million years years ago, Sauroposeidon is one of the last gigantic sauropods recognized from the Cretaceous period in North America. Sauroposeidon is named after the Greek god called Poseidon. I'm sure we all know that Poseidon is described as a deity of the sea and one that secured a domain over earthquakes. Sauroposeidon was so gigantic that it revered the thought of shaking the ground the way an earthquake would. However, it would walk. That's where the connection comes from. Number 2. Tsungaropterus Let's shift our attention down to Central Asia, where the beast once resided. Sorongopterus is a famous name related to archaeological fossils retrieved belonging to this kind of dinosaur. Back in the day before the establishment of present-day China, a huge reptile lingered over the then natural setting. Worms and small insects were its main source of food, but its huge mouth and teeth that could tear apart whatever meal they came across. Even though this breed of dinosaur wasn't the predator kind, its devastating appearance was enough to scare the wits out of you. This creepy winged reptile didn't have a pleasant appearance, and 
its curved beak made it even more devastating to look at. Picture a world where flying dinosaur is normal, just like we see birds roaming the skies. Feel weird, right? Another species with such a wanting appearance is the Thalassodromus, which closely resembled a huge cock. It had a massive beak and an enormous cranial crust, whose purpose has remained a mystery to date. Number 1. Utah Raptor Just like its name, it was discovered in Utah, though not the only raptor in Utah. It actually came very close to being named the Dinosaur of Utah. The North American dinosaur lived in the early Cretaceous period. Utah Raptor weighed an astronomic 15,000 pounds and was over 20 feet long. Utah Raptor was a profoundly built bipedal and ground-dwelling carnivorous predator. Ultra Raptor's gigantic curving hind claws were used to slash and gut its prey, and they measured almost a foot long. That's awesome! For the dino maniacs out there, you have to go check out The Raptor Red in case you haven't. It's an incredible book written by the iconic fossil hunter Robert Baker that gives the truest descriptions of the dynamic Utah Raptor and her family surviving in an unrelenting prehistoric wilderness. It's worth a read. Would you want to see any of these dinosaurs alive today? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.